So we can choose to go loop through Southern Road, which mm -hmm. is quite a stretch. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Chokerauku, mm -hmm. and then we're going to continue back here. Okay. Or the shorter way is we use Zebra Road. So from here, we go up here. And then we'll go through Zebra Road, pass through the animal sanctuary or mm -hmm. rehabilitation area. And then we can, if you still want us to come back here, we can then loop back here. Mm -hmm. Or in fact, as we go up Zebra Road, um, we can connect through, is it Chivila Loop or something, and then come back to Hillside Road and come back to the picnic. Okay. So maybe we can take the shorter route, I guess. No, it doesn't matter. I'm okay so with it's that. like we are like, oh, I wanted to, to it's, lock yeah. it. it's like, um, we are here, mm -hmm. so we're going to continue and then we will turn left okay. along Zebra Road. Mm -hmm. We'll avoid uh, Zebra Road, maybe we can go, so Zebra Road and then connect through, this is uh, Nkalamawe Road or something. Mm -hmm. Is that fine? Yeah, fine. Okay. okay. Let me just mark this and then... You don't want to see the vantage point? Hmm? You don't want to check out the vantage point? Like where we are? No, the the place where I said you can go up mm, and... Let's go. Sorry? Let's go. It's it's here. Oh, we have to... Oh, we, we walk there. We have to disembark, so we have to park okay, somewhere. Okay, so I think let's go. Then when we come back... Okay. Yeah. First of all, when we come back, are we using the same route? Well, I just thought it would be interesting if we loop... Either if we... we loop back, will it bring us straight back here? Yeah, so if we loop... If we go through... Is it Southern Road or something? Mm -hmm. I'll check them up just now. We'll have to go back here. Okay, let's, yeah. let, let's go around. Okay, let me just uh, save this thing. We've done 20 minutes already. Mm. It's, uh, I know it's insane. I don't know if you can see, but uh, mm -hmm. we came from here. This mm -hmm. is the entrance. And we've only gone as far as here. Mm -hmm. So we went through... Which road did we use here? Central, Central Road, road mm -hmm. right? So Central Road, and then I think we we probably took a detour along mm -hmm. along uh, Hillside Road, and then mm -hmm. we came here. So we're somewhere like a hills. Yeah. And now where are we going? Well, it's solid, yeah. So you can notice that vantage point thing I was talking about. That tower is up there. Yeah. So you can see, uh, you can actually see the main entrance where we are from. Yeah. So the next time you want something romantic, depending on the type of person, I guess you can bring them here, right? Say, so let's go and do a picnic or something. Assuming that person doesn't watch my horror movies like Wrong Ten. You, you've watched Wrong Ten, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. It's been a while back. <laughs> yeah. Sorry? Yeah. Well, I think so, there's some that survived anyway. I was expecting this erode because that, that, you know why that is paved? Uh -huh. It's because a lot of people come here for the picnic, right? So the road has to be... Yeah, and very few people will, will explore like where we are going or come from the opposite direction. Yeah. Mostly you come from the entrance um, careful, this might be slippery. From the main entrance, all the way up to the picnic or something. So, have you noticed my footprints somewhere here? And more prints, right? Oh, yeah. It's probably like uh, a watering hole close by or something. Yeah. Also, the poop as well is a good sign. You know, I'm always ranting about how. Every time I come here, I don't see animals. But the thing is, when you're busy cycling, yeah. you don't pay attention to what might be. Exactly. Um, oh, yeah, it's different when you're walking. Yeah. Or when you're driving or something.
Careful, there are rocks here. So we are at the intersection of we'd have to check because this is southern road so we just quickly check yeah so we are going down Oop. because if we if we were to go all the way we could go this is where that Lilai gate I was talking about uh -huh. is yeah it's quite a stretch actually okay. but you're not tired yet is it? Yeah. my legs were too cold like they're tired but even when I'm running huh? Mm -hmm. First 10k is a problem, eh? Yeah. No, first 5k is a problem. Yeah. But uh, once I've uh, beat that mark, yeah. because the thing is that my body's not very tired yet. Uh huh. I will be tired if I, I start punching. Ah. But I mean, at, at the pace we are moving, <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. Sorry? I don't think you get tired. At the pace we are moving. Yeah. I don't think you get tired. So the thing, the, the thing that tires you out is like if you're exerting a lot of tech, yeah, if you're pedaling, really pedaling, yeah. right? Um, but at this rate... Do you try to beat your own record uh, when taking a time? Yes. Uh, and one of the reasons, by the way, I like going Pajapa up Mnali Road and then towards Zambezi is... Uh -huh. uh, it's, it's technically challenging. It requires you to really exert a lot of tech, right? Uh -huh. And what I've been doing, because Strava has this leaderboard, it shows you who is the fastest cyclist shiny. In a short distance. Yeah, they are called segments. Uh -huh. So th there's that segment, and uh, I've been trying to beat my own record. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's uh. Ah, but I'm not very, very, I'm worried about the road. No. I need to gain your confidence. <laughs> yeah. But but I'm I'm trying to think of uh, which road you normally use, greatest road. Yeah, greatest road. But but if you cycle through, because when I commute to work. Yeah. Okay, mostly I'll use Central Central Street and then Greatest Road and then get into Campus. Uh -huh. But uh, careful here. But um, occasionally I've cycled into Ngombe. I've cycled into Ngombe and then Kalundu because I'm sure you can do the same thing. And then you connect into Zambezi Road, but up around about, and then you find yourself in Tabombeke or something, and then Kelvin to Walishan. But. Uh, but gaining confidence doesn't take long, actually. It's just. The more you do it, just like karate, I'm guessing, the more you do it, the more confident you become. And, and the thing about the road, though, is, is really the bad drivers we have in the country, right? Yeah. So, on the streets of Lusaka, at least, anyway. Which is why most of the routes I use are uh, like uh, places where there's little traffic or roads, uh, or I would cycle through bu the busy stretches of roads, but when there's very few vehicles. Yeah. So in the evening or early in the morning, for instance. So the other place I've been to is, uh, I've cycled through Nkwashi as well. Very nice. 